This is part 7 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery attribute selector, that is selecting elements that have specified attributes and or specified attribute values. Here is the syntax. We specify the name of the attribute within square brackets and we pass that to the jQuery dollar function. So this is going to find all elements that have the specified attribute. If you want to find elements with specific attribute and with a specific value for that attribute, you would use the second syntax. We have a few examples here. The first example is going to find all elements that have the title attribute. The second example is going to find all div elements that have the title attribute. The third example is going to find all elements that have the title attribute with value div title. And the last example is going to find all div elements that have title attribute with value div title. Let's look at these in action now. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So at the moment, there are four elements that have title attribute. So these two divs, this paragraph, and this span element. Now what we want to do is find all those elements that have the title attribute. So within the ready function, so we include the jQuery dollar function. Now the name of the attribute must be within square brackets. So we want to find all elements that have title attribute. So this is going to find all those elements with title attribute. And what we want to do with them is include a 5 pixel solid red border around them. So the name of the property is going to be border and we want a 5 pixel solid red border. So let's save those changes and when we reload this page, look at that. All those elements that have the title attribute gets a solid red border around them. Now let's find all div elements that have title attribute. So what is this going to do? This is going to find any element that has a title attribute. Whether it is a span, div, paragraph, it doesn't care. As long as it has a title attribute, it's going to select that. Okay, but now our requirement is to select only the div elements that have the title attribute. And only these two div elements have the title attribute. So when we save these changes and when we reload the page, look at that. Both of those divs are selected. Now, let's find all elements with title attribute and the value for the title attribute must be div1 title. So we want to find all the elements, so I'm going to remove that word div. So find all elements that have the title attribute and the value must be equal to div1 title. Okay, find all elements that have title attribute and the value must be equal to div1 title. And which elements matches that selector? this matches and the span matches. Okay, so let's save those changes and when we reload both the div and span should have a 5 pixel solid red border. Now, if you look at this entire selector, that is within single quotes and the attribute value is within double quotes. Okay, now can I reverse that? Can I include the selector itself within double quotes and the attribute value within single quotes absolutely you can do that okay it's purely your coding style you can do either this or the other way around uh, the behavior is exactly going to be the same okay or is it possible to use double quotes everywhere okay yes you can now when I use double quotes here the meaning of this is going to change basically the string begins here and it is terminating here but that's not our intention so we need to escape this double quote with backslash and similarly here another double quote and we need to escape that with a backslash and it's still going to work the same way. Now you can do that with single quotes as well so you can put your string within single quotes and if you want to use single quote here you have to escape that with the backslash and the same thing here and again it's still going to work the same way. All right, now let's find all div elements that have title attribute and the value of the title attribute must be div1 title. And to do that, we just use div here. 
So basically we are telling find all div elements that have title attribute and the value must be equal to div title. Okay, and at the moment only this element matches that. Okay, so when we reload this page only that div must have a 5 pixel solid red border around it. Now let's find all div elements that have both title and style attributes. We're going to use this HTML for this example. So let's paste that within the body section. So if you look at this HTML, we have four divs here and only these two divs have both the attributes title and style. So now our requirement is to find all div elements that have title attribute as well as style attribute. So both the attribute must be there. And these are the two div elements that matches that selector. And we want a 5 pixel solid black border. Okay, so let's reload this and look at that. Red div and green div, which are these two, which has both the title and style attributes are selected. Okay, now here it's an AND condition. Select all those div elements which have both title and style attributes. How to specify an OR condition? You know, if an element has either title or style attribute, then we want to select all those elements. If you want to enforce an OR condition, simply include a comma. Okay, so find all div elements with either title or style attributes. And which elements matches that criteria? all these three matches that criteria. Okay, so all three of them should have a 5 pixel solid black border. Look at that. Now let's say I want to find all elements that have title attribute and the value must be equal to div title. Okay, so how many elements matches this criteria again? These three. Okay, and the value for style attribute, let's say that must be equal to this one, background hyphen color colon green. Okay, now how many elements matches the selector? Only, you know, basically everything because we are using or condition here. But if I remove that or condition, basically we are telling find all div elements that have title attribute with this value and style attribute and the style attribute must have this value. So how many elements matches this criteria? Only this one. So only that one should have a border now. Oh, let's save those changes and when we reload, look at that. Only that green div get the black border. That's it for today. Thank you for listening and have a great day.